guys. You can see what 31 pounds of stickers looks like. Cause it's, ow, it's inside this box. Also, shout outs to my friend Lee for sending me these happy ending stickers. It's the perfect green. Look at this. I've never seen this material before. That is awesome. That's definitely going on the car somewhere. But in other news, this box is what I've been waiting for for weeks. Mr. Abbott, you are the real MVP. Let's look inside this box. This. All right. The chopper decals. That is so sick. Pikachu's! Dude, I ordered so many of these. All right, let's check this out. Let's take them all out. Oh man! Dope. Gold. Frankie slaps! So many Gokus! It's like Christmas came early. This is sweet! So many Pikachu stickers, dude. And Gokus. Dope. I'm just like, take all of this out. Dream chasing, that's what it's all about. It's a lot of stickers, bro. That's a lot of work ahead of me. Believe it or not, actually, all of this, well, the majority of it is already sold out. So now, what I have to do for the rest of the day, we gotta match all of these stickers with all of these receipts. Okay, let's do this thing. Most likely gonna get one of my buddies to come over to help me out because if I were to try to tackle this, Alone, what usually happens is I just pull all nighters to get all of this finished, but just trust guys It's so much easier with a second hand can't do everything alone I mean, it's always been in my nature to try and do everything myself But it's just come to the point where I can't carry that weight on my shoulders anymore So I'm just gonna call up one of my buddies to come help me out I was really just waiting on the Pikachu stickers. They were on back order because I oversold I really thought I had enough but I guess I didn't. I never do. It's because it was unprecedented, the overwhelming response that I got on Wave 3 launch. And I barely even advertised it on my YouTube, which is crazy. And that is why I've decided to do a Wave 3 merch restock closer to the end of December. Just for the guys who missed out. And because I partially feel responsible and at fault for not letting you guys know. Um, it's just I have so many social media sites that I have to look after and... Um, yeah, it becomes hectic at times, especially when like the purchase orders get into the thousands. I mean, dude, I had no idea, okay? Well, I guess I had a small idea, I just, I really didn't know what to expect. Only because I belittle myself a lot of the time. So, let's get it. Welcome to another video. I'm with my buddy, Shane. Oh, check that out. Shout out to Jarek. That's just a stock RC350. We're at Ikea right now. We're gonna go shopping for stuff for the KMR pop-up store. But it's freaking freezing. Look, look how thick this jacket is. This is my Arctic winter jacket. And I only ever wear it when it's like minus 20. And it's fucking frigid. Plus the wind chill is like an extra minus 40. It's terrible. Also, we're here for the really good cheap food at the end of the maze. So we'll see you inside. <gasps> we're guys. We're in. Cheap food. So the main reason why we're here is we're just looking for stuff to spiffy up the Kmart store. So specifically like a 
tall standing mirror so people can see what they're trying on and maybe like a round glass tabletop so that I can make a makeshift like wheel coffee table. 70 bucks. I'll keep that in mind, that's actually pretty sweet. I'm gonna take a photo of this. That's how IKEA works, I have to write down the aisle number and the bin number. So I'm just gonna take a photo with my phone. Perfect. Look at this guy, Snapchatting. Wow, so you won't only spend like a hundred bucks on both All right, so I think I found exactly what I'm looking for. I mean, the wheel that I'm gonna be using is 18 inches, and this is like, just 18, dude. Hmm. This is just a little bigger, and it's, I mean, a couple bucks more. And then I think we'll just put the wheel underneath it, so. We're gonna save this, and then we're just gonna grab it when we need it at the end of the maze. Kind of going for something like this, you know? Just getting some ideas. Yo, we're gonna get this for our crib. Throw in the Xbox too, man. Look at that, the Xbox Slim. Green, everything. Yeah, this, oh, that's a good idea too. Like you can have the clothes, the shirts, and then put the stock in there. I really like this too, man. So what I'm thinking is like, right now we're kind of just keeping an eye out for shelving units that can hold the apparel and stuff, like hats and even toys. So like, something like this would be perfect. It's 70 bucks, which isn't bad. I'm willing to invest a little bit in this pop-up store. Pretty it up, you know? All right, so we're back at Shane's house, and right now, just kidding, we're still not here, mother Dang. Can I just do like all three of the kids' meals? Okay. So instead of just getting this, I ended up getting all three of those. For reals though, this is... Kind of like a food court. Like what they've done to the place. No horse meat today. Two ninety nine each, man. So cheap. Shout out Ikea. Yeah, so you get the sandwich. That's awesome. <laughs> Dope. Good eats. So right now we're just looking for the furniture in their warehouse. But this is huge. Been 37. Oh, sweet. It's the last one, too. Oh, there's Shane. Did you play it? I did. A little bit. Alright. I mean, Shane at the Urban Pop Shop store, and we're setting up right now. We have a bunch of furniture to put together. So. Let's see what it looks like with just the glass on top of the wheel first. Dude, I'm excited for this. So I picked these up at Home Depot, and we're gonna test it out. I think I'll put it every other spoke. Done building this table. We have this hat 
rack set up with Homer Buddha, a silver Homer Buddha on the top. We're still gonna figure out what to do with the rest of the space. We got the coffee table set. And we just decided to put the wheel in the coffee table, but it looks decent. So yeah, just gonna finish the rest of that up and we should be okay for the rest of the night. It's like my spoiler. Oh, good enough. All right, so we're pretty much done here. This is what it looks like. A new little work area. Probably change here and there, but see you guys back in the studio. All right, we're back in the studio space, and I think I'm just gonna call it a night or end this vlog here. As you can see around me, it's kind of untidy. If you guys remember, I've said this before in the past, but uh, I think a happy person starts with a clean home. I guess you can interpret this metaphorically speaking, but for me, it's true. If I wake up knowing that my room is clean and that I don't have to organize or clean up anything that day, then I'm already like 10% that much happier. So, studios, like, look at this. It's come to the point where I just like started piling things. Now this is supposed to be a little workout area, but as you can see, I'm using the treadmill as a shelving unit for my clothes. This printer is holding some of the banners over here. We got more shiz. This is how many stickers were ordered for wave three. Not to mention we've already done a bunch. Today was just pretty much organizing the storefront, which I'm super excited about. So Calgary locals, you are soon gonna be able to come visit me. Sometimes I get just as excited for furniture for my studio as I do when I get car parts in. And that's when you know you're growing up. So yeah. I think I'm just gonna use the rest of the night to clean up. I'll make sure to advertise exactly when the KMR pop-up store will be open to public, but I'm gonna be working on just tidying the place up and, you know, making it presentable, making it look like an actual storefront. This is just a small starting space and something to begin with, you know? That's pretty much it, guys. Happy holidays. Thank you guys for watching this video. And as usual, if you want to get updated on my new videos, get posted on this channel. Subscribe, dude. Peace.